Harvest Sunny and Cog a nod, uh, and he goes over and sits beside Dogram. Uh, Oi, Cog, you probably want to get a wine out or something. Sweet wine. Stepping through is uh, Lord sure, Varax, as well as uh, the Prince in uh, Exile. The Prince in Exile is a gargantuan elf. He's got to be 6'8". Okay, that's a big elf. <laughs> uh, and built like a strong man. Uh, he, he He's carrying a cup, which he's cleaning with the edge of his robe, like he brought his own cup to the party. Uh, Lord de Varak seemed to be mid-conversation, pauses for a moment as he steps to the spell, gives a nod, like maybe Lord de Varak knows what this is. Ah, my favorite league, Lord de Varak says, raises his hands wide. I've heard already from the Rockseeker brothers and from Devran of your great victory and the capture of a flying castle and of, of, the, uh, of the lost mines themselves. You've got many stories to tell. But first, uh, some introductions. Uh, may I introduce to you Prince in Exile Yidris Iodra of the Elves. My lord. Is Prince in Exile Yidris Iolda known for casting magics? Uh, is he more of a with, with your 30? Yeah, yeah. so I, I kind of snuck that in at the end. Uh, maybe you didn't hear me. Yeah, he is an arcane caster. Perfect. Yes. All right. Okay, he's, he might be worthy of leaving else. Yeah, this is true. And for some reason, your arcane sight is not registering anything from him. An excellent. Excellent sign. Oh, mwah. perfect. You're going to make an excellent sign. It's going to be a warthog. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be a warthog. <laughs> oh, my God. Excellent. I was looking him up. Excellent. A pleasure. I've heard much about some of you. And about the exploits of all of you. I'm, oh, we are flattered. There's, there's a flash of like a ping of telepathic conversation going towards you, uh, um, Barnabas. Are you resisting? Nope. I'm particularly interested in the one who likes to read. Well, who doesn't like a good book? It's all he says, but there is a hanging, open, telepathic communication between Barnabas and uh, Barnabas mm -hmm. and the prince. He may have tried to do it with others. Uh, maybe the magic just just didn't simply work on Sonny. And the non-casters of oh, Thogram, you're also in. Did, did Sonny get the sense that he was trying to join him in? Yep. Okay, Sonny will cast telepathy. Okay. Uh, just hey guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, how do, are we doing? <laughs> do not let do not let them know, Thogram. But I was asked for my opinion about who should receive the honorary title of Defender of Overlook. Know that I cast my vote in your direction. I do not know the outcome. That is an excellent choice, my lord. Especially considering that the old that the old cannon master has completely gone mad. Ah, that's unfortunate. Thank you, but I'll have to see to my master. <clears throat> well, and after this, there are several friends of yours that wish to say hello. I thought it most pertinent, given that they are not fully in the know of what has transpiring to leave them outside. Besides, one of them, he's talking to Barnabas, leaves a lot of rat shit all over the place. Really? Where's that? They can wait outside. <laughs> okay, there's, there's sort of a mental smile. He's playing chess with you. Another suicide notes to be written. Lord <laughs> Vera! <laughs> yes, More yes. suicide note. <laughs> Lord Vera comes and, and, and shakes your hand, Barnabas, and he's going about and shaking the hands of his uh, of his followers. He pauses for a moment when he sees six one, shakes his hand, not sure like what <laughs> what's going on there. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, oh sorry. 
Uh, yes. He avoids the cannon that shifts slightly. <laughs> He's like, oh, great, not this way. <laughs> Shake Cog's hand, who extends over the bar, and then goes yeah, over and... Uh, Many of the druids are impressed with you, he says to Sonny, and then he goes over and uh, he so he doesn't even meet his like meet his gaze with the shake. Yeah. Like, oh yes, yes. Sees widget, shakes Agony's hand, and then and then sits down next to next to Brenos and clasps him on the back. Yeah. Uh, Brenos will like push over a mug of beer that's already out. Like we're 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 to dwarf it up. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, uh, do not worry about uh, uh, any secrets in front of the prince in exile. He is one of our monetary backers and. Uh, Knows all that I know. Consider him my partner. I was just, uh, we were just about to sit. It was this early in the day. Uh, this was yeah, midday, basically. Midday. I was just about to make some lunch. You want to play? Well, before we get down to business, maybe we should uh, all have a drink in celebrate in celebration of our victories. Uh, Cog, uh, hand out the glasses. I'm about to be ten minutes in the kitchen. I'll be right back. I was going to make something quick. Doing the flipping of the code. Brenos, you know <laughs> that the prince in exile has quietly, subtly, but glanced long enough to be looking through some sort of magical sensor or spell at each and every one of you in the room and is in the in the process of doing this. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've, you know, met certain folks. Like we're gonna just kinda Yep. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go shake his hand. Oh, Brenos, you're from the Divine Knot, are you not? Aye. Uh, uh, exiled Prince. Yidris, he says, he says with a dwarvish accent to help you understand how to pronounce his name. Okay, we're going to give him a nice firm handshake. Okay. Yidris is strangely strong for an elf. And quietly, like what you see. Ah, yes. I've heard much about your group, at least some of you. I haven't met others. But to find the lost mines and to, well, risk the dangers of the Thorn Waste, as well as the other things that I've heard upon the wind your group has, tra has achieved so much in so little time. I am most impressed. And he's getting, he's sizing you up. Yeah. You've got a firm grip for a noble. Oh, <laughs> let's just say that daily exercise does one good, especially when one expects to live at least a thousand years. Does he have a weapon on him? Uh, some wands. He does carry maybe a dagger. Maybe that's a dagger. Yep. And uh, he's got some pouches. He's got he's got a lot of rings. Hey, this is a bullshit. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. I want to see if I took the. There's this like uh, swift well, action. You spent <laughs> whole bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> uh, if you ever want to practice with axes or swords. My days of fighting like that is uh, long past me. I That's prefer... funny, he's in the back. It's so barbaric. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. My preference is that of spell. If, I, if you want me to conjure a sword for you to play with, I can. No, I am good. Okay, uh, call, like Brenos will pull a drink over in front of uh, in front of the Prince in Exile. Okay, he uh, pours that drink into his own cup. The cup you see, a couple of the gems in the cup flare, uh, and then he takes a sip of the drink. Spellcraft. Was it detecting poison? Was it removing poison? Uh, I was it just prestigitating it to taste like something else? <laughs> Sonny knows that uh, it was likely doing detect as well as getting rid of, and there's also some way of like enhancing the drink. 
it was doing all of these things, and the lights of the gems on the side of the cup actually tell him what like, happened. What the result was. Yeah. <laughs> Sonny likes this guy. Brannos doesn't. They were. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Brannos. Barnabas will... makes Eamon help him in the kitchen. We'll, hop okay. back. <laughs> well, 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 we'll go back to his previous. He also provides a plus See? five to eight and nine. <laughs> so, okay, so. I saw two Nizumi and a blue skinned man outside. I think they were trailing Lord Beric. Oh, oh neither Nizumi, I suspect. Blue skinned man was big. He had a giant axe. Yeah, all right. Sounds like you might have some old. I might have some old business to deal with. First things first. Let's get these meals out. <laughs> all right. Have you chopped the pepper yet? <laughs> have you chopped the pepper? <laughs> yes, it's like uh, chopping. <laughs> It, it, it doesn't make me cry. <laughs> you know, you notice that the, the imp is taking onions and like rubbing it in his face. But I want to cry. <laughs> I don't make you fucking cry. I just clean that up. <laughs> All, right. All right. You can hear a bit of noise. Uh, giving giving anyone else an opportunity to speak to the elf or to Lord Vera. Yeah. No. Just chit chat. Um, L. Um, Cog is gonna. Give him a nod. Do I recognize? Uh, the Cog is, Cog Prince in Exile old. would be like you know you know who he is after he you were introduced to him. Like give me a D ten or sorry, a D six on a one you you've actually met him before. Okay, that'd be cool. You know, guy from Thunder Tree. <laughs> Mm. Uh, it's some MP. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know that people in Thunder Tree would have had correspondence with his family, and that I think your family are crafters, right? If I remember the story. Yeah. Uh, he may have done business with some of your family members. Hmm. You're pretty sure he he'll, he'll know who Blue Leaf is. Your Highness? Hmm. Matthias Blueleaf. I do sense a bit of el elven lilt to your tongue. Uh, yes, he actually stands up and puts out his hand. Very informal. Uh, Cog, yeah, Cog will, will uh, like do a, not a full bow, not a head tilt, but something in between, and then go for the handshake. Um, you'll have to excuse my exterior. The work of the Imperium. He looks very concerned. What is your name? Matthias. Matthias Blueleaf. Blueleaf? Your father is Derivari. Yes, that's correct. Was. It's yes. no longer. I... No disrespect, but I thought you and your family perished long ago. Um, well, we, um, what we did, uh, if you, you must be familiar, is we, we, we placed some stones to collect, you know, to protect the souls of our warriors. I had such an item, but the um, Imperium f thought it uh, an interesting experiment to use some of these stones into, well, what you're looking at right now. So. You are fully construct, and you're saying that your soul lives on through this construct because of an elf stone. Correct. Yes. yes. Hmm. Curious. Um, and you are a fully functioning member of this league. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm not controlled at all. There's... Ah. You are the League members that came from Foundry. You see, that's you, correct. You and your little band have uh, piqued my interest. I have, um, well, when my interest is piqued, I find things out. He says, he takes a sip of his cup. 
As, as one should. I've been following your footsteps. Apparently, I do owe the League my, uh, my thanks. Did you know that your leader, Barnabas, um, was responsible for sending the Inquisitors into Thunder Tree due to an overwhelming number of doppelgangers? How many is an overwhelming number? <laughs> oh, at, <laughs> at least a dozen, if not more. Uh, in, in fact, the Inquisition has come to Thunder Tree. And, well, the number of elves that have escaped Thunder Tree has risen. And my people are being reunited here in Overlook. Uh, now, Cog was there as well, right? He fought against, against some of the... the uh, I'm trying to remember who it was. I remember this was, this was the end of Master of Puppets season. Oh, you, you mean Fortress Top. You were saying Thunder Tree. Oh, sorry, Fortress, Fortress Top. Top. Fortress yes, Top. I meant Fortress Top. Um, right. The end of season one uh, of Master of Puppets had Chaga, Barnabas, Mort... I don't know if Tracker joined them by there. Junker, Ghost. Yeah. Uh, yeah going to... Decide was not... Pardon. Oh, it was not there. The no, name no, was Grapple. The would have Grapple. Been it was Grapple. Entitled. That would have been a much different easy. adventure as you go to Doppelganger Town with a <laughs> doppelganger. <laughs> yeah, I think Grapple yep. was, was the one that was there. I must say, um, Barnabas' rib has very well embarrassed one of uh, my rivals. You see, placing a custodian in charge of Thunder Tree, who is a dark elf, and a very rigid sylvanite was a very um, touchy subject to myself and my family. Of a course. Point of, a point of honor to see his... Um, well, uh, points were made in my favor when his rule has failed, allowing doppelgangers to infest his population under his nose and whittle away at elvendom like mice burrowing through cheese. Yes, they're quite um, a difficult sort to get rid of. I hope things go well for our brethren. Barnabas, Sonny, and Thogram also say, I also hear that you defeated Bellafon. That And that Tassara Wynn died in the same battle. Hey, who's he talking to right now? I have heard a similar thing. Yeah, okay. uh, Sonny, Thogram, and Barnabas are in there, but Thogram and Sonny don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Yeah. I oh. heard a similar rumor. Hmm. Tragic loss, that. Yes. Once I heard that, I had to find out more about you. I hope you don't mind. What's the not a problem? Way? Do you like spice? <laughs> I can handle it. All right, then. <laughs> Some of us elves have a surprising constitution. How's the chicken? <laughs> Sonny, you're like... You know how elves have a minus two to con? You don't think he does. <laughs> this elf doesn't. Uh, are you truly an elf? <laughs> in the telepathic bond, like or the telepathy, like Cog, just Cog's in there with body doesn't move. He's just his head turns. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The benefits of being royalty is what he says, and you catch little flashes in the telepathic communication that he performed some ritual over top of a book, uh, or maybe it was performed on him, like as he was a child. Mm -hmm. But you're pretty sure that he's some sort of, like, advanced elf. Okay, S Sunny flashes, like, a, a slightly smaller version of a naked adult Sunny falling out of an apple tree. Right, that's like, his <laughs> response. <laughs> Fuck's sakes, Sunny, I'm trying to cook here. <laughs> ah. like, oh, he so says scary. out loud, now I recognize you. You're the old man that travels with them. The one that certain wizards were fighting over in Foundry? He knows a lot about you guys. This is very... To, to perhaps off-putting. You've had a secret admirer or somebody... And Barnabas like knows just... that's been hiring old cohorts of yours. 
You're pretty sure Rat and Junker are outside in an alleyway right now. Or yep. sorry, uh, Ghost and Junker. In the telepathic bond or in the telepathy, you are the one who cast the mind blank, yes? It's a personal spell, right? Yeah. Well, no, I, I believe it's creature touch. Like you, creature somebody touch? could cast on you. Um, you just need somebody who's like, I will spend an eighth on you. Creature touched. Creature touched? Okay. It's actually not even close. It's close. You could cast on somebody else from a distance. Ha <laughs> The point of a mind blank is to keep certain things private, now isn't it? What advantage would it be for me to say yes or no to that to that question? Come now. Wizards like to boast. <laughs> I find the wizards that partake in duels are the ones that have a growing chance of dying. Dueling is a waste of potential. Flipping a coin, eventually you'll get heads. Agreed. It... He takes another sip from his drink. Barnabas, you've prepared some hors d'oeuvres or whatever. All right, it's... it smells really good from the kitchen. <laughs> what are you serving? Uh, it, it's like a, um, omelets with sides of uh, quickly fried uh, beef, but lightly marinated. Seared beef. Yeah, seared beef. It's kind of that uh, optimal mix of elven and dwarven, some mushrooms in there. Uh, a 72 on the check. Okay, so like... Between best... Toilsome Chant and Help and, the, and the, a Mythic Point. The best steak and eggs that anyone wants Basically. <laughs> Oh. I mean, do me a favor. Take these three plates out to the lads outside, would you? All right. What about the guards? Yeah, yeah. we'll make a little bit for the guards. Maybe not as much. He hands a plate to the guards. They sort of hold on to the plate, but with 76, eventually you see them <laughs> nibbling on it. Uh, they, they are trained enough that they're not dropping their weapons while doing that, and while one is watching the room, the other one's eating. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, Eamon does leave, and he encounters three folk that um, that you recognize, and I put them okay, put them on the city of Overlook. Where are they? Yeah. This lake on the edge and court. Halfax in encounters a gaggle of people outside. Gaggle's a funny word. He, he could you, see you them from outside, right? He yeah, well, he, he wanders outside and then... Oh. Oh, yeah, Goros. I remember you. Look at what we got here. Dunker. Okay, he gets a good look at them. He probably talks briefly. And then uh, eventually comes back inside and... Uh, I guess they'll have to share. We didn't know about uh, Seven out there. But that's yeah, he, he sits back down and with his signing he says... There's an extra something about a chicken, and then he's like seven extra people. Seven extra chicken? What? <laughs> <laughs> Lord Deverak picks up that the two of you are communicating. The prince in exile is just enjoying his eggs. Barnabas just goes out and look. <laughs> okay, so Barnabas, uh, aim and Fuck it out. <laughs> All right, so you see staring at you in the middle of the road is this fearless-looking rat. And then across the street, you see a big-ass bird with some, with some uh, like, magic bracers on it that is looking down at you. Uh, and you can, you can hear a voice around the corner going, Oh, it's good. If I give it to you, you're not going to feed it to your rats, right? Just give them the plate before Ghost sticks an arrow in your ass, Goros. All right, let's share it. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you now. What are you doing here? I don't know. Eamon, I think, met them maybe on the tail. Uh, uh, he would have met Junker and Ghost for sure. Yep. 
I'm not sure about seven. I don't. Yes, he would have met seven. He would have met seven. Yeah. Yeah. Seven. I think the last time you saw her is when you installed them in their their home uh, their home apartment in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Want me to keep an eye on them, or keep an eye on him here? Oh, I think they'll be fine. Enjoy your food. Plate's getting cold. All right, Eamon goes over and sits over here. Uh, Barnabas will pull up a chair behind the bar and just snack away. Well, I, I have spoken to the like. This is after plates have yeah. been pushed in. Some 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 uh, brandies have been poured. Um, well, I have talked. I have spoken to the rock seekers. I also. I heard that you rescued the majority of the uh, over-eager free riders. Oh, to be a fly on the wall when they took their tails between their legs and returned to Bram Iron. Uh, yeah, they weren't too happy, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, yes, I also hear that you have rediscovered what was thought once lost uh, this uh, Spell for. Well, it's only lost till you find it again. Ah, yes. Uh, Prince in Exile has been, uh, the Prince here has been um, uh, quite the source of information. You could call him uh, my muse for refining this lost place. Muse and deep pockets. Well, uh, yes, where the Guild could not afford things, um, the Prince in Exile could. Oh, uh, I don't see Slake amongst us. Don't tell me he fell in combat. No, he no. just... He, you know he, him, not a fan of the magics. He's, uh... Here, bye. Taking Quite the alive, as is the rest of his clan. Okay. Uh, very deep sense motives of, like, what do you guys have? Barb is plus 40-something? Plus 45 at 13, yeah. And then... <laughs> Bredos has a plus twenty or plus plus twenty eight. Okay, I wouldn't say he's annoyed, but more like, oh well, uh, like There's not he, a lot he, of them. he wouldn't have shed a tear if Slake did fall. On Two him. is a clan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just he knows he perhaps knows that Slake could be a thorn in the side for ownership over the mines. Little does he know of the troubles that he is about to have. Yep. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't deal with Barnabas. He's <laughs> the devil's like, man, that guy does good work. We <laughs> should sign him. <laughs> and look, they did. <laughs> um, yeah, so Lord Deverick, you realize... This partnership with this much more powerful, much richer, much longer-lived elf, you might actually be meeting your true employer, actually. Yep. So... Lord Varak may not see it that way, but there's definitely... The, the money's the, the boss. The money and the magic, yes. Yep. Well, as I, as I told you, Prince, I do pick winners. And, well, the... Uh, Steel Rose Expeditionary League are winners of winners. Yes. Did we promise them money upon finding the mines, or did we promise them money upon the reopening of them? Do you guys recall what the contract was? Uh, it was finding and clearing the mines. Uh, it was uh, the rediscovery and the clearing of the mines uh, to be ready for... Uh, um, yeah. uh, Your arrival, yeah, we're done. And the mines have been clear? Uh, yeah, we're done. I mean, there are natural, well, natural is a, a difficult term. Uh, it's not exactly natural, but there are conditions of the mind that are not monstrous in nature that you will have to address. Are you familiar with mild magic? <laughs> so he's just gonna say it, like, just in the, in the I don't even tell him how they fought. He's just like, do you know what wild magic? 
Yes, a much, much unfortunate condition that appears in places where the weave has been damaged, as well as places that intersect with certain chaotic planes. Are you saying there's wild magic in the mind? Well, I'm saying you've got a connection to pure fucking chaos in there. So, yeah. It makes sense. The wizards that constructed the Spellforge sought very dangerous and potent magics. I believe the Spellforge location is not a... is not random relative to such wild powers. Well, if you want to know about the horrors within, go talk to the Fae of the Outriders. He's got nightmares enough for lifetimes over. Oh. I can verify that the mines as well as the as well as the fortress of Karak have been cleared. We should send people there post haste before they fill with new dangers. <laughs> this is a uh, different actually. Yeah. Basically vouches for you. Okay. Uh, he I do you know anything about the past with the mountain that talks and makes landslides and, you know, the, uh, the grumpy mountain that has them shut the way? Um, uh, the Delvin Pass. Yeah, yeah. They, we've, we've pieced together that the pass that had been closed near Delve actually leads to the Valley of the Lost Mines. The Rock Seekers pieced this together through their maps. I have seen them. We will have to reopen the. We will have to reopen the pass if we are to send um, less magical people there to do the hard work, the toiling work. Sunny has like this big agreeing. Yes, less magical people can go do the toiling work. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yes. I should also like to visit this spell forge. Yeah, well, all in good time. Um, now, I can only assume you have not come with trunks full of diamonds for us because you want to see the mines cleared first. Is that so? Well, I trust Delvin's word. He also spoke of a flying castle that I'd like to hear about, says the, says the, says the Lord. Yeah, well, it was filled with fucking giants, and I thought, dwarves, giants, let's send them on their way. Uh, that, that flying castle will be allies in the future. Bringing clans together. Hmm? How should you like to receive your payment? I can... I can make sure that an account is set up in your names with the appropriate funds. He's talking so, about dealing with the the imperial banking system. We'll take trade bars. Very well. You want them delivered here? That is a lot of money to have in one place. We'll send a couple. Agony grins and scratches the back of his neck. You can tell he's thinking, like, you've got more than that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send a couple of ours to go get it. Just let us know when it's ready. Very well, let us set a date. Tomorrow sounds great. Oh, uh, I do assume that you'll need access, continued access to this um, lovely inn as well as um, the trainers that we provide. Is that correct? Well, we would appreciate that gesture of goodwill. We'll give you a fair rate and deduct it from the hundred thousand that um, is forthcoming. We'll pay for ourselves, don't you worry. In fact, I think our business is almost done. Almost. Well, I was hoping to keep your band on to help guard the mines as we reopen things. Well, that will be another discussion. Let's finish up our business that we have at hand first. Very well. 
I will send the trainers and they will send you their bills. Fair enough. Much appreciated. In the telepathic bond, could we go back to talking about the Magic Forge and the <laughs> Sky <laughs> Castle? This is dreadfully boring. <laughs> you go right ahead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the talk of money and fees. It's like, ah, oh, fucking bills. <laughs> Excellent. Well, once we are paid, then uh, future jobs will be done on an ad hoc basis, I suppose. Unless, of course, you'd be willing to um, agree to a retainer. We'll discuss after our business year is concluded. Interesting. We are going to be quite busy for the next few months, I expect. Uh, interesting, says uh, um, the Prince in Exile. When you feel comfortable, please do share your intentions here in LCFL. Your arrival and great deeds have not gone on notice. I want to make sure that we don't step on each other's grass. That would be a shame. Barnabas I... doesn't need a sense motive for that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we're not going to get into uh, uh, all right. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Exile Prince, uh, do you have a an abode or something that you know? Out loud. If you, if, if you wish to chat, uh, uh, we'll go with the tel we'll go with the telepathic bond. Yeah, he says. Um, <laughs> oh, I do not hide my public abode. Public abode. Interesting choice of words. Uh. Yeah, let's go to the city of Overlook. The Tower of the Exile Prince is in the Elven District. Well, if I don't want to speak with a clone or something, where would I go to actually talk to you? <laughs> Most amusing. You must have met our... He glances to Thelgrim. You must have been inspired by the... Uh, oh, what is her name? The oh, leader... Uh, What's that? Isel, Isel Brist. Um, yeah, what was her title? It was... Uh, I gotta look it up again. Imperial administrator. I've got so many notes. <laughs> Fuck. Admin yeah, imperial administrator. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Mark. Oh, no, no, it's so if, we're, if we're doing individual XP, you get an XP. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, where should I place this tower? I'm uh, having an OCD crisis from Sunny's spells because we got so thick into it, they're not in alphabetical order anymore. Yeah. Oh, no. So, so I'm having like this... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll say Tower of the Exiled Prince is this uh, kind of circular building up here, overlooking... Uh, right, no, maybe, the, maybe this big-ass building here. This big one. Here. Okay. That's uh, the... Oh, that's the Elf District. Okay. Yeah. Will they know? Or is there some sort of secret knock? Or... Oh, I'm sure if you uh, introduce yourselves, my servants and guards and spells will uh, allow you to enter. It's where I receive most of my guests. You are welcome there any time, he says out loud. Where any time? <laughs> Never mind. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he seems to not really care to talk to the non spellcasters. Or Slutty the guy non gets the, like, yeah. The non wizardy types, right? He, yep. he, he, he eagle eyed in on Silgrim, Barnabas, and Sonny, and here are my mages. <laughs> 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 just, I don't care about the rest of you. I'm just being polite. <laughs> uh, Sonny will use his um, uh, his nature's connection. Yep. To tell Barnabas that uh, th this guy casts at least eight circle. <laughs> Him or one of his aides at least casts eight circle. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> oh. 
Also, good job with the dinner. It's very tasty. I uh, well, like I thought so, yeah. <laughs> Barnabas, it is my true hope that uh, we can continue to work together. We have done great things. Think of all the great things that we continue to do. And he says to all the, all the people that are here, a retainer would mean that you would not only get to use this inn and get trainers continued for free, but also uh, we'd pay you even if you were doing nothing. And then, of course, all the great works that we could do. You and I have a matter to discuss. Oh. Um, and he kind of leans in and whispers, and I think you'd prefer to do it in private. Very well. Would you like to have this conversation here now? He's he's a bit rosy in the cheek after he's he's he thinks that he's in a safe spot. Yeah, we are in a telepathic bond. That's not terribly private. Now is it? Oh, are you saying to the elf or to the? No, no, to the to the dwarf. The dwarf's not in the top by the bond. Oh, he's not in. It's the talk oh, around oh, the dwarf. Right. Um, yeah, we could have it now if you like. However, I don't want to insult your friend. Oh, the prince. Oh, the 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 prince does what the prince likes. If he was not enjoying himself, he would have left by now. Fair enough. Uh, perhaps we could go to the study. <laughs> uh, lead the way. Okay, Barnabas will lead the way. He whistles for Polly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Polly Def flies up the sleeve like it's... <laughs> Defren watches Polly fly and gets up and he accompanies... Um, I will speak with Barnabas, leader of the, um, uh, of the League in private, uh, Prince. Prince just nods and sips at his cup. Does the Prince in Exile give any sort of hint that watching Polly fly around that he might potentially see through a Polly or no? Or is he just like stone-faced? Polly was one of the things he stared at for an equal amount of time, but that was like half an hour ago. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. There wasn't like a, well, I mean, we already have a tiefling at the front door. I mean, it's, yeah, we, it's, it's not that big a secret. Really. Yeah. Okay, okay. We haven't been introduced to the new and improved Polly yet. It's the first time doing Castle Truth Sync. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's an improved familiar. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, Clegor just gets up and, and uh, uh, you notice that Deferen's coming with him. Uh... <laughs> it appears that we've concluded uh, our negotiations for now. We have an agreement for Lord Deverac to provide payment. Uh, would, you, would you like to um, be reunited with some of your companions? I think Barnabas is the only one that may know, then. You mentioned rats. Um, there, were, there were rats in Foundry at one point. Yes. Uh, they, they showed up and were asking for help with their magics. Uh, one of them was a druid, I think. Yes. That's right. Yes. Barnabas did travel or spend some time at the Tower of Bellafont with um, uh, a pair of Mizumi, one by the name of Ghost, a uh, magus archer, and a druid of the swarm named Junker. Uh, you... In the telepathic bond. Yep. Worm that walks. Does that mean anything to you? Oh. That was a foul change of subject, although I th suppose the concept of a swarm led you there. Uh, well, it was also leaving seeds around uh, Foundry, and he said, if it's a druid from Foundry, we probably want to check to make sure it didn't leave anything in his ear. Horrible pestilence, that thing. One should likely not have to worry about such things in fun, uh, in, um, I get these two mixed up, not Thunder Tree, uh, Forest Top. Fortress Top. Fortress Top. In Fortress Top, due to the mythil that is there, but everywhere else would be vulnerable to such a horrible thing. And given that the druids of this Vale have not been very strong in recent century, I would be concerned with such a thing. There are awful rumors of corruption taking hold in some of the imperial cities. Places that are so foul that they require sewers. 
in the uh, that connection, the nature's bond connection to Barnabas, Sonny is going, Oh, can we keep him? <laughs> <laughs> in, in reference to the elf, <laughs> well, I might be working for him shortly, so don't insult him. That's all oh, I oh, ask. Oh, that thought. My <laughs> <laughs> was like, put it, put it, put it. Ah, Lord De Barak, you're a low level, low level boss. We need a high level boss. <laughs> this could have gone. We need a high level adversary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> With your permission, I can invite them in. If not, I, they could stay out in the street. Uh, uh, just Barnabas in the telepathic bomb. Barnabas, like, invite them in, please. <laughs> okay. Um, a group of people. Uh, I guess Amen has to go outside. <clears throat> Come on in if you want to drink something to eat. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of. There's a bunch of chaos while Barnabas is having his conversation as some people come in. <laughs> Good, a distraction. <laughs> yeah, a distraction. A very big distraction. We'll get to the distraction in a moment, because it's fun. Um, and Barnabas... Uh, and he gives Barnabas some time alone and with, like, noises and stuff in the other room. Jeffren walks into the room. He points his hand at all the empty spaces around Barnabas. Luckily, Polly is sitting on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, Polly's in, in my... Like, on my skin. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. He, he basically avoids detecting near you and then just gives you a nod and stand, steps outside. Lord the Barak has learned not to ask questions he doesn't want to know the answer to. Yep. <laughs> Lord de Barak, the door closes, but you can hear the creak of the floorboards. Uh, uh, Barnabas, that Lord, uh, sorry, Deferen standing just outside. And Lord de Barak noisily comes in and is searching for a bottle on the table, knowing that how Barnabas drinks, there's a bottle on the table. There's a bottle on the table. And he's now pouring pouring drinks. I must say, Barnabas, good job. Good job. Ah. Yes, I thought so. Time-consuming, granted. We took a bit longer than expected, but we had a little bit of business in Thunder Tree itself, actually. Um, Thunder Tree? Hmm. Uh, there were some detours that needed to be taken, but at the end of the day, it all got done. Well, um, your 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 aim did hold true, and you were an excellent complement to the rock seekers. Now, a more difficult phase of uh, extracting the goodness from those mines. Uh, yeah, speaking of which. It now becomes quite political, as many of the five families do have stakes in this. Uh, you don't say. It's like you're reading my mind. You see, now oh. I know you as a um, little bit of a duplicity sort. I mean, man doesn't get rich like you do. Trying quite by the rules. You did Ooh. ask us to go to the Shadow Realm. Maybe open up some trade, the black market deal here and there. That's fine. I've got no objection to that. If you're thinking of blackmailing me, know that there are certain clauses in the contract that we have signed together. That means that I, well, you speak lies about me and you owe me money. Oh, I would never dream of speaking lies about you. Never. It's actually the contract you signed with Slake. That I signed with Slake? Yeah. See, I had a look at it. And, uh... His eyes, his eyes narrow. <laughs> yeah. See, everywhere we go, all across, all across the multiverse, be it the Imperium, the animal world, one thing always holds true, and that's big, fuck small. Well, what you thought was that you was bigger than Slake. So you thought you was going to fuck him. But you're not. I think, think you mean eat. That's what he says. <laughs> no, I ain't going to find out in just a second. It's fucked. You see, you are not the only duplicitous one sitting in this room here. It's 
Probably is. I'm better at it than you. But look at this contract here. He slides him the forged contract <laughs> that gives the uh, the league to Varax ownership and Slake's ownership <laughs> of the mine. What is this? And, how, did uh, you, how did you get these? What's, no, the, you what's know, the DC of the check that he needs to make to see if through the forgery? 69. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, now, if you were to say, I don't know. <laughs> Here, let me roll a die. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? You snake. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the snake part. See, I do not like. Read it. The... This is mine. He's pointing no, no. at the other one. Uh, is it? Is it? It could go to court either way. But well, would it go to court? Is the question. Is there a fireplace? I've got another is, document here. Is there a fireplace in this room? Yeah. I don't see one. Oh, maybe there's not. All right. Uh, oh, you, uh, does I this upset this is, you? This well, is a, a fantasy world where there are no fireplaces nor are there toilets. Yeah. So I think this is just a. Well, I, th I think at this time it was chamber pots. It was you yeah, throw okay. shit so, the window. Uh, he's about to take a rash action. Uh, roll for initiative. Oh, if he wants to wreck it, he can go ahead. He's better. He's better at making forgeries now than he was before. Yeah, I'd, I'd make a better one now. He, 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 he's he's about to grab them and rip them up. Okay, uh, both both contracts. Uh, uh, he picked the one the one that he's one that I made. The one that he's really angry with is the one where you're taking his share away. Oh, here, let me help you with that. Barn Bissell cast spark and set it on fire. Uh, what are you see, playing at? Oh, see, I got another document here. Not a legal document, more of a personal sort of thing. You're watching that contract yeah. slowly go up. It, slowly it's burn. like slowly burning to yeah. along the edges. Here's, here's one confessing your treason. To the Imperium. My what? Oh, treason to the Imperium, right there. You you conspire with goblin forces. Um, I don't know what trickery this is. Uh, and that's why you could not go on any longer and took your own life. It's so sad. He... Jackson! And he sets fire to that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Dothan! Yeah, yeah, he, he leans back. We're leaving! Uh, yes, he definitely shoots you a look and looks at some burning documents on the table. Lord Sparrow, I, 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 I'm sure the irregularities will be fixed the next time we meet. I don't know what game you're up to, Barnabas. Uh, trust me, it's one I will win. These documents better disappear. They are gone now. They could reappear any day. Just do what's right. That's all I'm asking. Give me a intimidate check. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to add the bonuses. Plus, carry the 20. He showed him in his own damn handwriting his own suicide note that it looks like he couldn't see what was wrong with it. Mm -hmm. You showed him taking away what has been his goal for, I don't know, 10, 20 years. And what he's recently, and you also revealed that you knew about him screwing over Slake. And then what was the last thing on? Oh, and basically confessing horrible crimes to the Imperium, which would likely, if he tried to run, put him at odds with Inquisitors. I don't know, like a plus 12 to the Intimidate? Okay, I'm going to spend a Mythic point because I roll Linguistics for Intimidate. <laughs> oh, do you? For Coercion, yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, um, 91. Are you trying to make him poop his pants here right now? Are you trying to shake him? Uh, I'm trying. Or, or I, trying I, to... No, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make him do what I want him to, like play nice. 
What else do you want, Barnabas? Is what he's saying. He, he's trembling. He's 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 red in the face, but he manages to. When you told him to play nice, it's like he he kind of got whipped like a dog. Well, and, and he goes over and puts his arm around him like he's a good friend. Uh, uh, Deferen stands in between you when you approach him, and then Claygor says, "No, Deferen, go back outside. It will be all right." Are you sure, my lord? Something has angered you. What were those documents? Nothing. They are burned now. Uh, Deferen just kind of tells Barnabas, like, just sort of stay back. And then he, I'm just outside. This time he leaves the door open. You will do what is right. What is just. Just like in his clan, what is left of it. And you can have your little slice of the mine. Additionally, you will introduce me to the Philomath Mystics and vouch for me as a member. Your yeah. Thirdly, you will not discuss this little transaction with anyone. And fourthly, We'd very much like that retainer, the trainers, and this Eden. And that we can play nice and start over. Wouldn't it be nice to start over? Clean slate. He, he we, looks we, at the ashes and the still burning corners of some of the documents. He, he is absolutely horrified of those documents. He knows he didn't write them, although there was a period of time when he was under some powerful, charmed influence. Yeah, so he you, might could, have. you could see him like trying to piece things together. Like, no, I didn't write that. I didn't write this. I wasn't wrong. I did pick winners. That you did. You decided against us. Next time. Choose the right side. You'll get your payment. You can use this inn. I'll write it off as an expense. Thank you. It's very generous of you. Now, you can also uh, grab a bottle on the way out. It looks like you need to relax. What a <laughs> Slicks. The Anvil and the Anvil Sons clan, we will hand it over to them. You, you realize that <clears throat> he is going to lose a lot of clout and perhaps money yep. doing this. Big box. Small. And we will start clean. And we will start clean. Okay, he's now stumbling from the table. Deferin is obviously watching this exchange, and he helps Claygor leave. He does not look Barnabas in the eye, uh, but you're pretty sure he heard your demands. The paladin didn't argue with you. You weren't intimidating the paladin. You were intimidating nope. Slagor. <laughs> but Clegor screwing over Slake, yeah, maybe, maybe you deserve some of this. <laughs> yep. uh, the paladin will be the shoulder to cry on, or the instrument to blunt uh, Clegor's rage that <laughs> inevitably will happen after you leave part of his presence. Uh, Hopefully the wise or... words are, don't fuck with that guy. <laughs> All right. There's a, a curious group that is now drinking and eating at your uh, at, at your tavern. Um, uh, Karn might have met them. Uh, the the members of the uh, the Steel Rose uh, gang did interact with these like they these guys guarded Barnabas as Barnabas came to, to do business. Oh, okay. So yeah, some of you recognize them, but have not interacted with them a lot. No, uh, like Ghost was like sniping from the friggin' 
rooftop or whatever. It was like Ghost and Capra were like eyeing each other up, giving the dirty the dirty archer eyeball to one another. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what the dirty yeah. archer eyeball, I think, yeah. Exactly I see that Lord Clegor has uh, reached his limit this evening. I, sh I too shall return to my uh, to my parlor. It was a pleasure meeting all of you, he says out loud. Oh, um, Seven, Ghost, uh, Goros, Junker, feel free to stay and revel with the uh, with our friends here at the Half Axe Inn. There shall be no disagreements between the Steel Rose and and all of you. Does all of you got a name, or is it all of you? Nah, names are stupid. What's his ghost? So what will you write on your tombstone? A oh, ghost. That's a bit ironic, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he laughs. Widget, Widget starts giggling because that is a funny joke right there. That's... <laughs> Where's Bar Oh, there's Barnabas. Oh, what what's wrong with what's wrong with the Lord? Clegor, head down, red in the face, Defren fussing over him. He clangs through the place. He grabs a bottle off the bar as he's leaving. He's biting the cork off of it and drinking heartily at the edge. Enjoy your celebration, he says, and then and then leaves like in the most defeated sort of way. Are you yeah. sure you won't stay, my lord? We could make you some more rags. Ah, <laughs> no, that's a, bad. a delicate touch, I see, says the prince in exile in uh, in, in your minds. In, you know, like they the bottled it up, but they're really an emotional people. <laughs> in the open, the Brados is going to say, I often feel like that after speaking too long with Barnabas. <laughs> Fancy pants over there's got a wee. <laughs> <laughs> Barnabas, uh, Seven actually goes over and gives Barnabas a hug. Oh, is not, is how are you, Seven? Uh, Horace, they, uh, the, the bird's name is Horace, uh, squawks from uh, above, kind of stealing um, uh, stealing Polly's perch. When when birds are talking, I where you are. <laughs> freaking Mistra comes out, picks her head out, like, the... hey, what's... Well, yeah, what's uh, what, what's all the bird talk going on at this point in time? The prince of exile has has bowed to all of you and is leaving with his guards, uh, leaving just long Hello. enough to look like he's not following Lord Deverick. In fact, he takes a different way. Okay, he's most definitely following Lord Deverick. <laughs> <laughs> Bar the doors. <laughs> Sonny, this really disgusting druid is now sitting at the end of the table that you're at. Um, rats seem to be spilling from his cloak and then disappearing into his cloak. All right, Junker. Sonny will hop a couple of little chairs over. Yep. One of the rats comes kind of sniffing up to you a little bit. Yeah. Junker growls at it and it, it goes running back. <laughs> I wouldn't get too close, says Ghost. Yeah, uh, Junker, I don't like people. In, I'm not people. <laughs> in Druidic, how were things? <laughs> they made me come in here. I'm supposed to act nice. Acting nice does have its advantages from time to time. You're a druid, aren't you? Uh, yes. Uh, Sonny, druid of Volcanica. Mm. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> you notice that he carries a lot of potion bottles. Uh, he does have some magic items. If you're looking very keenly at him, we'll say that uh, he can cast fifth level divine spells. Mm -hmm. It's pretty obvious that he always wanted to be a rat. I mean, just this is just clear, but uh, we'll continue the conversation. <laughs> um, the one thing that you notice about his robes is that, um, and these must be new Barnabas, they seem to, rats seem to go in and out of them like they're living in his robes, magically. 
you might actually have like a swarm of rats in his robe. In his skirts. Yeah. Kind of like a necromancer's robes where there's a bunch of uh, yeah. tokens of bones. Yeah. 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 That that's pretty cool actually. <laughs> Cuz I remember how that character worked. It was awesome. <laughs> Lacking a lot. That's what Junker says to Tony. He's not, he's not a happy druid. Oh, Junker, don't be like that. Sonny's just a friendly sort and inquisitive. Have you been contacted by a worm that walks? Contacted? No. I've seen signs of it, though. Do not go to the sewers in Foundry or any of the other big cities. Rats are suffering the wrath for the lack of action for you humans. Barnabas. Um, uh, he'll switch. He'll, like, he starts out in like Germanic and like, he switches, like, shakes his head for a moment. No, 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 that's not the right one. Uh, I'm going to have a favor at some point in the future. I think I think I'm owed one of those, yes? <laughs> Just... <laughs> I don't know why you're owed a favor, but I don't suppose to be like, like a favor, like treat your old friend Barnabas Druidic. This is probably something he harps at you for, like, I want to learn Druidic. This <laughs> treats me Druidic. I don't want to deter me. <laughs> <laughs> the Volcanica will hear me. <laughs> the secret language of nature, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. What's what's you know what the favor is, or is this just no, uh, we need to? Um, uh, there's uh, an evil buggy version of me out there somewhere that is in the sewers that we need to slay and cons you can consume. Well, I will be completely honest with you, that sounds like a slake Amadeus sort of problem. <laughs> <laughs> sewers is 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 we will assemble a group <laughs> specifically for that task <laughs> when, when, when there's time when there's yes time. When, when we have time we've got much to do okay so sunny sunny is putting on like go slay that thing into like the future adventure bucket <laughs> like not like next year at some point so he's gonna be like oh yeah we're supposed to go do this thing you know that's <laughs> cursing the land and hey Ding, ding, ding. You're the metal man that was at uh, uh, the Steel Rose Mill. Yes, that's right. The one that killed hundreds of the humans? <laughs> well, it wasn't just me, but yeah, we were defending ourselves. They came at us. Yeah, we heard about you. Well, yeah, I think we've heard about you as well. Oh, so yeah, there's pretty... the dragon guy. Where's the other big one? More big one. Hey, Barnabas! Goros just waves hi to you as he's... He's, Goros, so very... he's like gorging on the leftovers of your... Six one looks at Goros. Are you an unhappy slave as well? Yeah, see, Charlie's not the only one who can cook. <laughs> unhappy? Well, I was a slave before I met these guys. Uh, oh. Ghost and Junker helped me escape. He looks hopeful. His eyes are like... Oh, it's magical. <laughs> yeah, they also helped me as well. Uh, Fortress Top is a dangerous place, even more so since the Inquisitors arrived. Yeah, well, what's happening there now? They're emptying it. The elves that passed the screening are, are, are mostly coming to Overlook. Really? Well, the Elven District is here. Well, yeah, but that's a lot of elves. Well, I, a... I haven't. Well, they're going to other places too. Elsio Vale is big, but a lot of them have families no, and relatives here. Well, you said it. I thought they yeah. were all coming here. I'm like, why? With the problem with the doppelgangers, right? Prince and oh, yes, Prince and doppelgangers, uh, filthy fucking creatures. Can't okay. trust. <laughs> Prince of Exile was so impressed with whatever you did because she she wasn't. I don't think she was there for the fight in the basement of the Belfry. No, I don't, no, she wasn't. No. And I guess, I think he knew my mother. Uh, <laughs> no, he didn't know her. He's no of her. Well, anyways, um, 
he came looking for you, kind of. He met Junker and Ghost, and when he heard about where we were, he came and talked to us. He's really interested in you and the fat man and the Spriggan and the others. Oh, is he now? He said that Bellafont wasn't really his friend, and you dispatching Bellafont, well, actually helped him. Oh, I gotta remember now. He wanted the fucking... He's not one of the three summoners because you had to defeat all the summoners. Right. No, uh, there was a... There was a party. Uh, uh, apparently, I, my notes. My notes are too messy. I can't find yeah, it right now. Uh, apparently, you defeating some of Belafonte's allies also impressed him. It's he's also rich. He smiles almost embarrassingly. So, uh, he's, yeah, it's well work. So, what did he, you? He's kitted us all out, and we do our jobs for him. So where did you, how, how did you get back in touch with Junker and, or did he collect you all? Well, he found Junker and Ghost. Junker and Ghost knew where we were in Foundry. He came and talked to us, and I guess he stumbled on Goros along the way. Yeah, Goros, we had, we had spotted. It's kind of hard not to notice the blue guy, says, says Ghost. Yeah, however, your brother is conspicuous in his absence. Where is he? I is a bit too young for all this. No, I thought you might be following you around, carrying the weapons or what. Oh, but good. No, he really likes foundry. He found bars and women. Yeah, okay. He's at that age then, all right. Fair enough. We had to get out of foundry, though. It uh, it got dangerous. No. Uh, down in Southwall? Yeah, I would imagine it would. Well, Southwall is dangerous, but foundry, there was all sorts of conscriptions of people and... Uh, being forced into um, forced into serving the Imperium. Uh, Foundry also got. We were there during the the attacks. Which attacks? Oh, one of the <laughs> one of the flagships went nuts and started bombarding the city. I did not. I, I saw, no, I didn't actually know. That. We've been away too fucking long, obviously. Uh, we, we left shortly after that and came here. Oh, uh, yeah, um, the Prince in Exile also knows a bunch of elves in Foundry, too. Uh, the, the rich sort of people. Oh, yeah. Not, yeah. not Southwall. Still, those, those cannonballs traveled far and had everyone running for cover, and uh, a, a bunch of boats went out and smashed against it, and it was like their flagship or something. Yeah, yeah. poor Charlie. He got conscripted. Oh, the fat man. Oh, yeah, I like. Oh, that. All the marching are doing good. I'm sure he's lost a ton right. of weight right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that that ship really just crushed the others. I actually think some of the other guys got charmed. Boats were going up against it, and then it's almost like they got I don't know zapped with something, a weird sound, and people were fighting all over the place. <laughs> That uh, sounds uh, probably. Yeah, you didn't want to be near the docks that day. Uh, I think something like 20 ships were sunk. Oh, and my goodness. A, and a good number of fires were started. Hmm. That's quite unfortunate. That ship has been dealt with. I, we left. I assume the Imperials will clean up their own mess. One would hope. Uh, Prince in Exile convinced a bunch of elves to move from Foundry to uh, to Overlook. Yeah, it's like growing an army or something. Oh. I'm sure he's doing it for the good of his people. You probably shouldn't tell them that, Ghost. Uh, this is a Nizumi from Junker. Yeah, it's fucking Barnabas. He knows everything. Yeah, I know everything in Nizumi. <laughs> See? <laughs> he, he gives Mr. a little, like, a little tap. <laughs> yeah, funny bird. So... 
What has uh, the exiled prince had you doing? I assume he's not kept you up for uh, decoration, sake. No, we we kind of like a bunch of, you know, people have problems since seven. Yeah. Well, we sold, we solved a bunch of elven problems. All right, well, good for you. Good for you. Make a good night for yourself. Yeah, and then we came back here and, well, you know, goblins are going nuts everywhere, right? The yeah, we, we, we noticed, yeah. It, it, it's reached our attention. <laughs> Remember the hobgoblins? <laughs> no, those were bugbears. <laughs> well, not after we were done with them. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him a good shave, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, so are you working for the Prince in Exile too? I think he directly, yeah, it was. Oh, neat. Yeah. Hey, I don't want to sound like out of line a little bit. That's an archer or a thief or something. That's a druid cast or something or other. That's a barbarian, fighter, something like that. Some guy with a blade. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can norm wrestle later. Let's go wrestle easy. And the little girl, bard, or some sort of... I'm not a sing. Sorcerers. I'm not a sing, and I'm also a druid. And no, I'm not teaching you druid. Fuck off. <laughs> Sonny gives like a... I, a, 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 a mm. I'm not allowed. If I do it, I lose my spells. It's a bullshit rule. <laughs> fine, she, fine. She looks a little Dexy. Um, yep. She's got a good personality. All right. Well, it's lovely to see you again. Oh, yeah. Uh, we hear that you on some... Crazy quests. Uh, we caught. Ah, they tend to it. find some fucking mines. You know, dwarves in the fucking mines. Finding oh. some, some, yeah, crazy mine and floating castles and dragons and. Oh yeah, there was all that too. But I mean, that would have bragged. I mean, a Drake almost ate one of us. Quiet, it's Joker. He was after my rats. Yeah, uh, dragons and no good. At least the ones that we've seen. They are a problem to deal with, yes. If you deal with dragons correctly, they're not really a problem. They're kind of little fuzzy creatures on the inside, you know. Well, we yeah. didn't mean to interrupt your business. Oh, yeah, sure we did. They're serving good food in here. Yeah, well, the lunch run uh, rush is done. <laughs> Dwaki, Thurin. That we have visitors who should introduce oh, yourselves. Hello! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> ah, children. Ghost, ghost, ghost. That's a joker. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like children, and after your experience with the child that was living at the tower, it's. Oh, well, Alistair, yeah. Yeah, Alistair. I'm yeah. still waiting for him to come back and just. <laughs> No! You stole my face. No. Seven Seven goes over and introduces herself to the children. She's nice enough to, to do that. Uh, she calls uh, Horace down because they seem to like animals and introduces the birds. Uh, they're, they're playing on the steps for a few moments. Sonny is going to quiz Seven like, do you notice anything strange? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, Doaki with his oh, she's got a oh, she's one of these plus two racial for half elf plus three feet, which turns into a plus six, and then six, a plus yeah. three for class because I think one of her classes might might be Sylvan trickster or the fate singer or sound striker. One of the three archetypes. She she's got a good perception check. Sunny is giving the Sorry. little druid a test. Yeah, all right. <laughs> stinky and, druid is stinky druid. We don't worry about All right, about so that. there's her role versus oh, uh, versus Doaki, who's probably got a seven, ten, twenty with the uh, with his spell. All right. Um, I. Don't really like puzzles, she says. <laughs> oh, you'll figure it out eventually. He winks at Doaki. Yep. <laughs> Doaki smiles and then missed the step in. <laughs> no one's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, 
we'll let the children play. It's not, it's yeah, not ready they, yet. They have a nice visit and they, they say that they're basically staying in the Elven, uh, in the Elven district. Uh, okay. that, that the prince in exile provided them with a home. Pleased to hear it. <laughs> right, so, uh, Brennus is going to sidle up beside uh, Barnabas. Yep. They, they have a little visit, and then, you know, it, it starts to get late, and they... they uh, Invite us over any time, says Goros. <laughs> he spent the entire time eating, <laughs> uh, leaving no time for, like, like uh, uh, for a contest of strength with Brennus or whatever. I, that's fine. He, was... he, 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 does, he does make a show of putting his huge axe back on his back. It's huge. He's a medium-sized creature. I, I, it's not the size of the axe. It's how you swing it. Come on. <laughs> he was also uh, told uh, by the prince that you were supposed to stay nice. Uh, be good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it takes about 30 seconds for all the rats to go squeaking out of the plate. Like, they were just spreading from his... You plate. better bring them all, Chunka! <laughs> <laughs> he collects all the rats um, and maybe, maybe absorbs some of the ones that you already had. Uh, as as the as Junker and the others leave, I, I thought that that might be a, a nice look good feel good moment. So, yeah. is this a sh is that supposed to be a sign of leverage? I don't know. Hey. If it was, it was a poor one. A heartless bastard, aren't you? <laughs> what do you mean? To agony. Well, we meet we meet. The exiled prince. Uh, he's strange as all bygone, speaking in cryptic words and half sentences. And then he's like, Oh, and I've collected a bunch of your friends from your past who show up all around here being all friendly, but oh, he's the one who's put them on jobs and put them up in a house. And oh, look what we got in the elven district. Yeah. yeah they're old enough to look after themselves, and they are capable. I would not worry. Sonny, Sonny's like, eh, maybe, I don't know. There you go. There you go. There you go. go off to play and reincarnate yeah. mystery is watching them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, your friends. Uh, uh, the leverage was not that um, they were here or that they work for him. It's the, um, that he found them and collected them. Master, can I go play with the children and the giant chicken? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Make sure you don't hurt anyone, all right? All right, Master. Sh should I... I shouldn't fire when around them, correct? You should not that fire in the city. <laughs> all right, Master, I'll go play with them. No firing in this tavern, all right? Can you fly? Can the thing yeah, fly? I think, it, I think it flies, though. That was, that, that was one of those things we, we said, make it fly, we're tired of carrying it around. <laughs> they shut the door, mistress, mistress uh, clicking at the, at the door, and now he's like, what did I say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> keep pointing the business at right. people. <laughs> so I'm just trying to look you in the eye. Yep. I was told it was polite to look you in the eye when I speak to you. Try not aiming at them, Pilgrim <laughs> Six One just pats the area beside beside him, and how he settles in, unable to play with the children. All right. Well, that was a fun distraction. <laughs> And Thogrim, you'll be happy to know that the business with Slice uh, entitlements has been resolved. That what the fuck what did you do? What the fuck did you say to Lord? What do what What do you mean? Because <laughs> Thogrim's got his memory. You've modified. His oh, that's memory. right. I can't remember. All right, I fixed that on you. Yeah. Um. Tverek tried to fuck Slake out of his share of the mine. Mm, uh -huh. Bastard. Did he so do it? I expected though. Oh no, he, he did do it. He is now going to set things straight. Otherwise, we will own the mines and he will disappear and a suicide note will appear in its place. Intimidate. Good. Excellent. If he does wrong, then he should expect to be wronged. Wait, Aww. good on you, Barnabas. 
Intimidate does not possess an epic usage, boo. But people in fanatic states have a DC plus 20 to be intimidated. So yeah, yep. it's a really hard time to yeah. intimidate fanatics. Okay. Was, was right, that more fanatically greedy? <laughs> no, no. He and he wasn't fanatically loyal to you know to whatever the whatever. So like, we'll get what's ours. We'll get what's ours. Okay. I'm allowed Dverak to continue to keep what is rightfully his and only that. The Sonny is, oh, go ahead. I was yeah. just going to say, Sonny's been flipping through a spell book going, I must have... Did you know I wrote down the same spell three times in my spell book? That seems highly inefficient. <laughs> <laughs> you never have too many dispel magics, I suppose. <laughs> Pilgrim, uh, your horde of simulacra happen after you level, right? Yeah. I'm going to level... I'm going to create them after I level because... They're half level, right? So if I create them now, they're six. Yeah. My level will be seven. Oh, nice. <laughs> right, half your level. All right, uh, that was the meeting with Lord Verak. Over the next three weeks, or three five-day chunks, um, over the next 15 days, trainers do arrive at the Overlook uh, Half-Axe half Inn to help you train for your 14th level. This expense is covered by Lord de Barak, and I just want to give you the idea of how much, how expensive this is. There are, what, nine of you, approximately? Um, there's nine of us. Uh, nine with Eamon, I guess. Uh, plus, Am I plus, missing someone? Uh, plus oh, eight. plus uh, Amadeus, so ten. Yeah, nine PCs, one cohort. One cohort, yeah. 1300 times nine. So that expense is 11,700 gold pieces, is what the bills come out to, which Lord de Verac has previously paid. Uh, throughout that 15 days, uh, one hundred one thousand gold piece trade bars arrive at the, uh, at the Half Axe Inn. Excellent. They come in two installments. You've got two two strong boxes with average locks on them. Sounds good. Uh, every cool. every night, the um, mage's private sanctum is a point up. Yep. Me. You could uh, put that on your treasure sheet, I guess, uh, for future divvying. Uh, what else? Um, at the end of the 15th day, a document arrives that has... Uh, the proper writing uh, to say that Slake or the clan anvil it's a it's a revoke of the claim to rights to clan anvil's stake in the mines and um, Lord de Barak and one other vote it's like a, another dwarf from another clan uh, have already put their mark on it, which invalidates their claim. Two out of three of their marks are there. And basically it doesn't, it's not like it's transferred to Slake's name. It's like they have removed their claim on it and now Slake could it's open for make his claim. Yeah. It's open for Clan and Anvil Son to go. No, we are the direct descendants of Clan Anvil, and therefore we should have our claim. Okay, so it's a small wiggle. Uh, he could have just done this by signing the whole thing over, but you think he might have had to get three signatures or three to do, that? Yeah. To do it, and maybe maybe he had a hard time convincing the third. I, I think after Barnabas levels. He is going to, you said he could take profession lawyer as his versatile linguistics thing. Yep. And uh, he will write a claim for the clan just to piss off. All right. Mark that down as to in which week you're doing that. Uh, right. You're mm. going to write a claim on Slake's behalf, basically. Uh, 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 on, on clan Anvil Brow's behalf. So I know Slake's not really interested in ruling. 
Right, Anne but, Wilbrow, not Emmelson. But but his sister, who's probably got the chops for it, might want to take over. And that's not a bad person to have as an ally. Yeah. Look at him. Being the nicest, evilest guy you've ever seen. Okay, so you've spent ten yeah. days recovering the Horde, five days getting set up at Overlook, plus meeting Lord Deverick and the Prince in Exile. You've now spent another 15 days training to level. Uh, during that 15 days of training to level, if you have scrolls and if you already have scrolls or, or spells to learn, you could also have done that during your training. Going through that right now. Uh, th that's four hours a night times uh, 15 days. So, um... Is there anything on Fogram's spellbook that you wouldn't let Sunny learn? I'm uh, looking at some yeah, of the yeah, fuck yeah. over construct spells. Yeah, yeah. construct ones. Uh, Appro oh, approximately fifty hours, six to sixty hours of learning. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Which is an hour per level plus one to to learn a spell. You, you get all the repair ones. Okay, uh, I think he only really wants the little re repair one, but he'll he'll take the little repair one and the big repair one. <laughs> Sure. Um, <laughs> he's not going to give you the sabotage. Okay, sabotage construct. No. Okay. What Barnabas the took out the right. Uh, he had uh, retrained feet. I'm not retraining that feet anymore. So I just put right claim in. Suit that construct feet. you get, and unbreakable construct you get. Okay. Those are the. I think those are the other ones. How about you? What you got for me, son? Go to just go to Sunny is a guy who's like I like magic. You like magic? Let's share our magic cards. <laughs> Let's share our Pokemon <laughs> cards. And see what we got. <laughs> share our Pokemon cards. It's such a great guys. Hardening. Seven. Oh, you got I, hardening? I, yeah, yeah. Hardening's good. I, I've got four. I, I basically no. This this list here in the blue. This is me. I copied your whole spell list. I'm going through what I got. His is okay. these wizard spells known above that. You can go through. Okay. Unfortunately, Widget is a uh, Shadowcaster, so. Oh, you don't have Seventh. No. He's primarily no. a Druid. Don't, don't, don't ah, uh, me. <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's fine. You got tons of spells, son. It's good. Okay, uh, so then take more spells. We, we, we level and we... Uh, uh, Basically, do some some uh, sharing of spells. Does Cog get? All right, I'm just creating a Thogram, uh, a new Thogram simulacra token, just so we can there's tell the, them, there, so we can tell them apart. There's going to be three more tokens. There's one red one. So Thogram's introducing red and blue. Blue are the Crafters and red are the combatants, the fighters. Okay, uh, I need to take a quick bio break, so we're going to just end the recording right here, and we'll resume nice. in five minutes or so. Uh, and we'll come back. All right.